Hey everyone, it's Dominator. We're going to go over the TVR Griffith Car Riot. So you just saw my run. Now let's uh, talk details. So the points about this car uh, that are important to know and to keep in mind when you're racing. One, the nitro uh, is very weak. You burn through it real fast. The top speed is excellent. Um, but the acceleration is, you know, kind of mediocre, so it, it's hard to get it up there. Um, but once it's there, uh, you, I mean, you're cruising really well. And the handling is not great. And so when you drift, or if you um, run onto the grass in this particular case, or, you know, those soft spots, then you're going to lose a lot of speed. So what we want to keep in mind here uh, is to stay on track. Um, typically avoid drifting except in necessary circumstances like some sharp corners that I'll talk about um, and uh, yeah we'll just keep an eye out for different parts of the track that uh, can shave some speed so let's get to it at the start um, the AI will go for the blue nitro bottle up ahead so if they're far enough ahead you should be okay to get it up yourself but just be careful of them uh, so that they don't clip you or slow down in front of you uh, or try and cut in front of you if you're really close to each other for that blue bottle otherwise you're going to lose your speed and you're going to have a uh, challenge to get yourself back up to speed obviously down here i prefer the yellow nitro bottle uh, reason for that is it will get me much closer to being able to use shockwave coming up uh, on the ramp once we take this corner. Uh, also, I find that when we are going on the right, uh, that blue bottle is on some grass. So unless you got uh, some speed, maybe even using some nitro to cut through there, it's going to cut down your speed a little bit. Um, so I just prefer using this bottle. We actually have a little bit of an excess because when we take the corner, which will drift around slightly, um, we'll be able to replenish that nitro and be ready for shockwave for the jump up ahead. So let's get to that. So just a small drift here and we're going to try and avoid this AI. And then by now, if you don't have a full uh, bar of nitro you should be picking up a perfect run as well which should fill you up too if not do some wiggle drifting just so you can do shockwave here we're going to want to make sure we're in a nitro state uh, otherwise the AI will crash us we're going to fight for this ramp uh, and if we don't crash him we may end up on our roof and be wrecked so let's do the shockwave up ahead here we have this ramp. Now we're going to do a 360 on this ramp. Um, the other option too is to do a force barrel roll on this ramp. Uh, I do prefer the force barrel roll. Um, however, it is a little tricky, uh, particularly because we are uh, just coming out of our top airspeed. The car is bouncing around a little bit um, and the angle of it is, you know, it poses some of a little bit of a challenge. So the safest and simplest way to do it is to do 360 over this jump. Now, once we're down near the bottom here, we're starting to accumulate or to uh, reach our top airspeed. And so I'm going to turn off the uh, nitro because I was in the uh, orange nitro doing the 360s to try and get to that top speed quickly um, and then turn it off so that I accumulate more nitro uh, for the bottom so that I can then go into yellow nitro and maintain my top speed on ground. Now, I did have some issues here settling the car down that is one of the issues that I find with doing 360s on uh, a ramp like that and sometimes with specific cars this one being one of them. Um, thankfully it didn't affect the uh, speed too much. I did move into orange nitro instead just to uh, get my speed back up because it was fluctuating. And now here around this corner uh, we're going to do drift without the accelerator on and basically avoiding the shoulder on the right otherwise you will slow down significantly. And we'll use the orange nitro that we have to get ourselves back up to top speed. Here this is acting like a little bit of a jump and we will have gotten a perfect run now. So we'll use the orange nitro just to get up to airspeed a little bit more. 
Now, we picked up the yellow nitro bottle. You don't want to stay too close uh, to the right side. It does turn into grass, so you want to move away from it. And we're going to hold on to that bottle for this section here. You can use it to go across this grass uh, better in a blue nitro state than a uh, yellow. A yellow you will slow down a little bit. Or you can just go a little bit here on the left, like myself, um, where you can pick up on the road and then uh, you won't lose any speed. And you can maintain a yellow nitro state going through, preserving that nitro a little bit longer. Here we kept that blue bottle nitro and we picked up another perfect run. And so this part here will be able to go into a blue nitro state. There is a little bit of air time, but there's also some parts that can slow you down. Here we'll use that other blue nitro bottle to use for the drop down. And here we're going to wall ride, maintaining our top speed. So you want to go against that wall nice and easy. That's why I stayed on the right when we were at the top. And that way, uh, when we're wall riding, we're maintaining our speed and not slowing down. Here, now that we've taken this jump, I'm going to want to go uh, to the left as much as possible. Um, that way, I'm not forcing um, the car, you know, trying to pull it back left. Um, and that will help me to maintain my speed as well. And I'm going to maintain this, the nitro as much as possible here. Here we're doing a little bit of air and we're just going to get a perfect nitro as well. So we're going to use it to get a little bit extra speed again too. Just be careful of the fence on the right. We're going left here because it is the faster way. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> excuse me, on this particular jump here, I'm moving closer to the left hand side and then I'm going to do 360s and I'm going to move the car to the right. This way it will help prepare us for the bend in the road here. Up ahead. And that way we'll be able to stay on the road longer um, and avoid the grass. If we do get into the grass and we are out of 360s and we have no nitro, remember when you're doing 360s with this car and using orange nitro in particular, the car burns through it basically even before it's finished rotating another 360. So by the time you land and the car is straight, if you're on the grass, uh, you have no nitro to pick up your speed again. So for that particular one, that's why I angled the car specifically to the left, then moved to the right, knowing that the uh, road bends to the right so that I avoid going onto the grass and losing speed. Here we're gonna pick up this yellow nitro bottle and now I'm gonna move right and then I'm going to take that corner coming up ahead nicely into the left and I'm going to move into blue nitro. That way when I'm taking this sharp corner, I will still have uh, my speed, uh, I'll maintain my top speed and prepare myself for this jump here. Now I did hit the wall, I'll try to avoid hitting that wall um, and that way you'll maintain your speed better than I did and then we'll do 360s and continue on. Now this bottle here, this is a tricky bottle. I suggest avoiding this bottle for this particular reason. It is sitting right on the shoulder of the road and you're most likely going to go onto this grass. And this grassy part will slow you down. So you're going to have to use that nitro bottle just to get back up to speed. So if you can pull yourself a little bit more left, again, I didn't take that uh, corn, that left-hand corner down below that jump uh, very well. I should have been a little bit in more, and that way I would have been more aligned to the center of this road and possibly have picked up the blue bottle while still being on the road. But that's what you want to consider here um, is maybe not picking up this blue bottle because we're not really gaining any benefit from it. On this corner here, this is a nice long little stretch. Um, I'm preserving that blue nitro bottle uh, that we just picked up and here I am just tapping the joysticks to the left. So nice little taps. That way I'm not holding it down because if I hold it down the car is going to decelerate. So this way I'm maintaining my top speed as we go around this corner. I recommend avoiding that blue nitro bottle. Again, similar situation um, to what we just had coming out of that 360. It's on the shoulder, it's on a grass, it's close to a grassy part. And because the bend is turning left, uh, you are likely to go onto the grassy portion. 
which again will slow us down. Also just note uh, through that uh, section there we want to stay in the middle of the road. Here you can kind of see what it was like a little bit in better detail on the left hand side. Uh, this portion here will slow you down too so you want to avoid that and just stay on the center path. Now that we've accumulated that blue bottle and we have some perfect nitro or some perfect um, a perfect run we'll do a 360 and use it sorry we won't do a 360 we'll use that nitro to go onto the ramp and do barrel rolls and hopefully land on top of that yellow nitro bottle I overshot it which means that I was too high up on that ramp and obviously that was so because my barrel roll stopped midway through my air and if we pick up that bottle with the um, barrel roll plus a little bit of drifting here at this corner you should have shockwave to throw yourself right through to the finish line. Here I did not have it so I used whatever nitro I had to get across. And that is it except for one last thing that I want to talk about that I neglected to mention um, at the start here. Going around this corner I am doing very similar to what I did uh, near the finish line, I am just tapping the joystick to the left, not drifting, not holding it down. Uh, that would again decelerate the car, so I'm just tapping it, tap, 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 tap constantly to get around this corner, thereby keeping up my top speed. So that was a 157.660, good enough for 34th uh, at the moment. Obviously, we are still very early in this competition at uh, we're currently uh, 1428 hours uh, Eastern Standard Time so we got a lot more people that are going to be competing here but with that run uh, I'm pretty much guaranteed uh, to remain in the top five percent and so with that I will wish you all good luck racers and I will see you in the top five percent <laughs>